so glad you are here. Today we will discuss representing data on pictographs. Daphne, Tomas told me you are a skilled data organizer. As you know our group of friends is super competitive. We collected some data or information about the number of shells we found on the beach. I have an idea. Let's put this data into a pictograph. A pictograph uses pictures to represent information in an organized way. Let's set up the graph. I see the title says shells collected. The categories on the pictograph are our names. Crush you sure know your data lingo. Another important part of the graph is the legend. Sometimes it is also called the key. A legend or key tells us the meaning of images on a graph. So each shell on our pictograph is going to be worth two. That's right Crush. Let's get started. Stella found seven shells. Remember each shell is worth two. Let's put the shells on. Two, four, six, eight. Oops. When counting by twos we can't make an odd number. What should we do? Well if we cover half of this shell it now becomes half its value. If one whole shell is worth two, what is half a shell worth? Is it one? Yes. Amazing crush. Nigel found ten shells. Each shell represents two. Two, four, six, eight, ten. I will try using the number I found. I found an odd number of shells, so I am going to have to use a half shell this time. One shell is worth two then I add a half shell to make three. Tomas found six. Two, four, six. There we have it. The data you collected is now represented on a pictograph. I like it. Can you show me how to interpret the information on the chart? I would love to. Let's take a break and then meet up again after snacks. See you soon.